Hello there, my name's Joe and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to take a quick look at some post-processing nodes. And by that, I mean we have um, already generated an image, but we want to make some global changes to that image, such as, for example, we want to increase or decrease brightness, contrast. We may want to flip the image, add grain, turn the image to black and white. Um, there's a whole host of different things that we can do. What I've done today is I've just taken a, a small collection of some, what, 15 nodes that I've currently got installed in my Comfy UI, and we'll quickly run through those. So I've got four groups of uh, nodes that we're looking at today. Um, so we've got some from the Comfy UI post-processing nodes on the top left. To the right of that, we've got just a um, four default Comfy UI nodes. So they're already built into your Comfy UI. And the two groups at the bottom, we've got the Aegis Flow utility nodes. We've got, I've taken four from there. And to finish off with, we'll look at four nodes from the Comfy UI extra nodes. Now to install these, I'm not going to go through the installation process, but if you just go into your Comfy UI manager, select install custom nodes, and then in the search box, just type in the titles that you can see for the groups. So a Comfy UI post-processing nodes or Aegis Flow utility nodes, and you'll be able to locate them and install them, do a restart, and you're ready to go. Okay, let's then have a quick run through how my workflow um, hangs together, and then we'll um, start looking a bit more in depth into these nodes. So the way I've put this together is, it's really quite simple, quite basic really. So the top row, so these two groups here on the top, all the nodes are fed by this image here on this load image. Um, from the load image, they run through the nodes that we're looking at. So these four nodes here for the um, post-processing nodes. And then for each node, I added a preview image. Now, if you do get a little bit confused by where the connections are, you can just click on any of the nodes and you'll see that the connections will, will turn white, makes it easier to work out what's going on. Okay, so, um, I've also added this little any bus here. This is just again to re reduce the amount of connection spaghetti that you'll see. And that's basically basically just running from the load image and then outputting to each of these nodes in the second group here. So this is just to make this a little bit tidier. Same thing for the two groups on the bottom half of the screen. We've got a different donor image in the load image. We've got four nodes from the Aegis flow and just three from the Vextra nodes. And the same principle, um, this load image is feeding into the nodes, which then feeds into preview image. And we've just stretched that across into the, uh, the connection across into the Anybus as image two. And that feeds into the uh, Vextra nodes, which in turn feeds into these. Um, preview images. So let's, um, we'll start off with the default Comfy UI nodes as they're already built in. But for that, let's just generate uh, QPrompt and just take a look at what these will actually look like. So for the default Comfy UI nodes, um, as I just mentioned, so we've got our load image, which is Spider-Man here which is feeding through to the Anybus. And from the Anybus output, we're coming into each of the four um, Comfy UI nodes. Now to install any of these, all you need to do is double left click to get the search box up and type in the name of the node, i.e. upscale image, image crop, image sharpen, or invert image. Now we can see what each of these um, nodes have done. So here we've got an upscale by times two for this image here. We've got an image crop. So I've cropped to 
um, 512 by 512, which we can see is, is this one here. We've got um, sharpen image, which if you're into photography, you'll be very uh, familiar with sharpening photographs. You can set your um, sharpening radius there. And we have an invert image node, which is this one here. Doesn't look so good in color on this example. More often than not, you, you would probably use this with a black and white image. But on some images, you might actually get quite an, um, on some color images, you might get something looking really quite arty as well, but, uh, but not in this case. So there's four default nodes. Let's go back now to the left and take a look at the Comfy UI post-processing nodes. Now, I think I said earlier that there were four post-processing nodes, but of course there's not, there's five. I just can't count. That's why I'm an end user, not a developer. But let's take a quick look at the what we've got here. So on this first node, the one that I missed out, um, it's, it's actually, this node is feeding through to each of the other nodes. So all these nodes can be chained together if you want. We don't have to use them in isolation like I've done with most of my examples. They can be chained. However, so we we'll start off, we have this color correct where we can um, adjust temperature, hue, brightness, contrast, etc., which is all very nice. This, this one node on its own is, is um, very useful. Um, so yeah, so that's the color correct. Then that's feeding into the four remaining, as I said. So we have here, we have the pencil sketch, which is again, um, quite nice. You can adjust the radius again there. We have uh, quantize. We get the quantize effect there, which we can see down here. We can add a film grade, again, more of a photography process, but you, you can do that quite nice there. And we have this thing called Solarize, which I really not quite, I don't know much about that. Um, interesting to look at, and uh, that's as much as I can say about that. So, yeah, so that's just some of the nodes available in um, Comfy UI post processing. So let's move on now um, to the Aegis Flow utility nodes. So the four um, Aegis Flow utility nodes I've selected, we start off here, we've got this um, brightness and contrast node. So you select either brightness or contrast from the drop down there. Um, below that, we've got this image flip. So we can flip the image either horizontally or vertically, which is quite nice. Um, moving down, Another photographic term really for processing. We can add Gaussian blur to an image. And finally, this bottom one here, we have the flatten colors extra. And here we can basically choose how many colors we want to be processed within the image. And uh, that's what we've got here. This little example here where I've just um, used five colors. So there's four little um, nodes from the Aegis Flow utility package. So the last group in this little demo is the Comfy UI extra nodes. And we start off here, we have the a, um, Instagram filters node. And if you select on that, you have all these um, Instagram filters that you can select from quite, um, and get some quite interesting results on that. Um, below that, we have a hue rotation and texture node. And by adjusting the um, levels in that, you can get some very, really quite interesting results from that. I have quite a bit of fun playing with that while I was testing this out. That's, that's quite, a, quite a nice one. And again, here we have the swap color mode extra. Again, if you select into it, you've got. Um, quite a few um, selections there. And this is what I use to um, create the black and white image. So that's the uh, somewhat 15 nodes 
I've used. There are plenty more, as I said, and if you just go into the Comfy UI Manager, into the um, Install Custom Nodes and type in image, you, you'd find an awful lot, you may find an awful lot more nodes that you can, um, you can add to this list. But anyway, let's just, um, to finish off, just want to look at a couple of ways that we can um, perhaps make this a little bit easier to use in your workflows. So to finish off, just a couple of suggestions of um, how perhaps you could use these post-processing nodes. The first one is you could have for yourself save a, a workflow of post-processing nodes, a bit like this one. I'll put a copy of my workflow here into my Dropbox, and I'll add a, a link in the description in my YouTube for you if, if this is of any interest. Um, Personally, I would like to do my post-processing on the workflow that I'm working from. So whilst it isn't too difficult to flip across to a workflow such as this, bring in your image that you want to change, um, that's fine. Save the image once you've processed it. Um, I would probably myself plump for pulling up, uh, calling up the uh, post-processing nodes that we want um, via templates. So let's have a look at that as a final suggestion. Now, templates in Comfy UI is a very useful tool where we can very quickly and very easily um, call up any nodes that we want, any number of nodes. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do just two examples of how we can use templates. Um, so let's, for an example, uh, let's say I find these three pink nodes here from the Vextra nodes particularly useful. What I'm going to do, I press, hold down the control button and select all three of those and do control C to copy them and then control V to paste. I'm now going to hold down the shift to move those three. So I've got these three nodes here. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to them up side by side. I want to take up as little room as you can with templates because you're, you're pulling them into an existing workflow which might already be busy. So the, um, the less space you take up, the better. So we've got these three nodes here. I would like to be able to call them up at will. So I'm going to add them as a template. So again, what I'm going to do is press the control button to select all three. And now I come away from the nodes and right click in an empty part of the workspace. And then I've got um, save selected as template. So I left click on that and I'll be asked for a name for my template. These are post processing. So I'm going to call it EP1 because we're going to do a second one in a minute and click OK. So I've now added those three nodes into my templates, and we'll look at that in a moment on a different workflow. And um, similarly, what we could also do along the same lines is if we have a particular node that we like, or even nodes, we could select a node, but we could also add in the load image and the either save image or preview image. So for instance, if I take this load image, I'm gonna take the brightness contrast node that's quite useful and I'm going to take I'm going to select the preview image I'm now going to hold down control and do control C and then control V so to copy and paste those and now I'll take one click I'll hold down the shift and then drag these nodes away from the rest of my workflow and then what I'll do is I will make these nodes pretty much as small as I can make them. Pull that right across there. And pull that there, that could be a bit smaller, no doubt. There we go. And then we've got a set of nodes ready to go. So I don't need to hook it up um, differently in my workflow when I pull it in, it's ready. I just need to 
call up the image. So same thing to add this as a template. I'm going to select each uh, node. So select the first one, then hold down control for the second and select the third. Come away from the nodes, right click and select save selected as template. I'm now going to go and call that PP2. Click OK. And we've now added that as a template as well. So now that we've done that, let's go to another workflow and, and just pull them in and then we're done. We'll finish off. So what I'm going to do is let me just scroll down, get back to my normal workflow here. To do that, what I'm going to do, I this is one of my favorite tools. This is the um, Comfy UI Workspace Manager. I did a video on this ages ago, which has since been updated by the, um, the developer. It's a really useful tool for managing your workflow, swapping between them, saving on the fly. Um, this little thing here, models, takes you to the page of your um, checkpoint models or your LoRa's. Um, really, really useful tool. Can't recommend this thing enough. Anyway, but I'm going to use this to go to another workflow. And I've got my little scratch pad workflow here. So I'm going to select that. And I get the option to discard what I've done previously or save. I'm going to save that. OK, so I, this is my little scratch pad workflow. This is generally what, where I start when I'm playing around in Comfort UI. I've got my little text to image set up here. But if I want to do image to image, I've got the couple of extra nodes that I need to, to do image to image. And you can see here, because these are connected up, that actually my workflow is image to image at the moment. Let me just cue prompt on that, give it a bit of color in a moment while we're talking. However, what I wanted to show you is um, the nodes. So if I now right click on that empty space, come down to node templates, left click, and you can see I've got my PP1 and PP2. So if I select PP1, there we go. We've got our set of nodes and they would just need to be added to a load image and a um, either preview or save so that's quite quite handy because we have installed the ages flow package in this demo you'll notice that the nodes uh, sorry the, yeah, the nodes in the template are actually surrounded by a group box that's because that's something that comes with the, the Ages Flow package. So you'll get that. If you don't have the Ages Flow package, you will just get the nodes. Either all work fine. So there you go. And likewise, now if I do the same thing, right click, come down to node templates. We've got our PP2. We've got that ready to go. So I would suggest that's probably the easier way to go rather than leaving your workflow, going into a workflow of post-processing, but it's up to you. So I think with that, we're just about done and dusted. So as usual, I'll say thank you very much for your time. I hope you found this useful. Um, I do hope you have a good day and goodbye.